Hello and welcome to Tuesday. Today, we got something very fun in the mail. We also get a lot of stuff in the mail that was less fun, but we're not going to deal with that right now. Instead, we're going to be looking at the thing that came that's very fun. It's actually not for me. It's for me. It's for, it's for her. What came, Mal? My mini. There's a website called Hero Forge, which allows you to create a... Custom. A custom miniature to be played with miniature games, or to just put on your shelf and enjoy. But we were going to use them for uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So everyone has been making these characters, and even though our last D&D session didn't go quite as planned, we're still going to keep those same characters and take them into some other campaign. So, Mal made a uh, Hero Forge, how long ago? Do you remember? Two weeks. Two weeks ago? Over break, maybe. Okay. So about two weeks ago, and it just arrived today. Why don't you show everyone what you got? Because actually, I don't even know what you got. It's, I'm assuming it's in there. It's in here. It's tiny. It's in. It's in. It comes in a fairly large box for how tiny the thing is. But um. Well, they're pretty fragile. The material I got is fragile, I guess. Okay. You slowly pull it out. Let's see this thing. There we go. I got it as in focus as I think I'm gonna get it. Can you turn it? A little bit. It is hard to see because it is clear, but what you're looking at is a druid elf mm -hmm. with a flame in her hand. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is a little difficult to see, but I can, I can make it out. The concept of the website is, um, is really neat. Like, you just go on there and they have all these different tools, and you just build the mini, like, right on the site. And then you order it, and then you choose your material, and there's various materials, and Mal got... What one, one that's good for painting. Yeah, there's... Ultra detail. Ultra detail, um, which allows you to paint it. And uh, I believe a few other members of our group got them as well. So I think we're going to have a painting party. Painting party. Which would be a lot of fun. Um, especially because right now it looks like we're probably not going to start actual D&D, the actual session. Um, until June, so maybe we can get together someday in May or something like that and just have everybody paint And you could be an instructor because you do that. Yeah, because you know what you're doing. What else came in the box? Anything? That was it. There's a little Hero Forge sticker oh, Okay, oh, it's just oh, it's just a little pamphlet thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for using HeroForge.com the internet's home for customized tabletop miniatures and statuettes but yeah, they're um, you know they're going to be painted, which uh, is is going to be cool. Anyway, um, yeah, that's uh, that's actually that's going to be it for today. We were really anxious to um, get this to get the well, Mal was really anxious to get this. She's been waiting for it to uh, to finally arrive, and now you, it's here. You got an owl there. Oh yeah, I, I should show that. I never showed that on the blog. Um, because all of the players have been you know making minis and ordering their Hero Forge stuff, so everyone should be in probably this week. Um, William, actually, whenever he came to the last session, he said, hey, I got you something. He said, I know that, you know, you're not a player and you're not, um, you know, a part of the campaign, so you're not making a, a mini. He said, so I got you one that you can use. He got me a little owl bear. Is that thing cool or what? It's, uh, it's actually, terrifying. it's terrifying, but it's, it's, it's really neat and it's, it's extremely detailed. It's just really, really cool. Yeah, I think he said he found it at Troll and Toad. But anyway, um, yeah. So he got that, and everyone else got those. And uh, I think all in all, we're, we're, we're pretty happy with all of the minis that are, are popping up. I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing everyone's minis painted. Now, the only thing is that they are delicate um, with the material that, that you got. you got to be careful when you're building them not to put... Like, you can do all these different things, but there's some that you probably just shouldn't do um, because they have very small parts and you have to be very, very careful with them. But all in all, that came out really good. Yeah. You excited to paint it? Yeah. It's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, that's actually going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm getting a lot of stuff done, so I'm going to get back to work. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?